Hello friends, welcome to CSS video tutorial series. From this video tutorial onwards, for the next few video tutorials, I would like to discuss CSS box model. Why we have to understand CSS box model? Understanding CSS box model clearly will help us to design web page layouts which are more manageable and easily editable. CSS box model says, imagine every HTML element as a rectangle box meant to hold a content. Content may be a text, an image, a PDF file or a video, etc. Every box includes four important areas. They are content area, padding area, border area and margin area. You can see here I have drawn an HTML element with its component areas. Content area, padding area, border area and margin area. Let's discuss each of these areas in detail. I go to MS Word. The amount of space required to display the content or the area occupied by the content is known as content area. Content area is determined by CSS width property and CSS height property. That means we can set the width of the content area by using the CSS width property. We can set the height of the content area by using the CSS height property. Let me go to the MS Paint. The amount of space required to display the content is known as content area. We can set the width and height of the content area by using the CSS width property and CSS height property. Next we have padding area. The distance between the content and the border is known as padding area. The empty space or empty area around the content is known as padding area. Padding area is determined by CSS padding property. Let me go to MS Paint. The space that you see here around the content, the empty space, it is known as padding friends. It's a padding area. Padding CSS property is used to clear the space or area around the content. Padding is the distance or the space between the content and the border. You can see here we have a thin border around the HTML element. That is the next area, border area. The area occupied by the border is known as border area. The area around the padding meant to display the border is known as border area. It is determined by the CSS border property. Of course, to an HTML element, we can apply the border by using the border property. The area that is meant to display the border or the area outside the padding is actually a border area friend. The next area we have is the margin area. The area around the border or the empty space or empty area around the border is known as the margin area. It is determined by the CSS margin property. You can see here the white space here around the HTML element is actually a margin area friends. CSS margin property is used to clear the area around the border. I hope you guys have understood now what is content area, what is the padding area, what is the border area and what is the margin area. Let's see the demonstration and get clear idea. I go to the notepad. You can see that I have already opened default.html in the notepad. It has the basic HTML document structure code written. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I have already opened the default.html in the Chrome. Title is set to CSS properties demo. I go to the notepad. In the body section, I am going to create a div element. Opening div, closing div and I paste some content inside. The div is going to have by default padding set to 0, border set to 0, margin set to 0. Div is going to have its width and height based on the content present inside. File, save go to browser and refresh. You can see that we got the content displayed. We have a div here. The div is actually a box friends. Within the box we have this content. Maybe it won't look like a box but it is a box. I'm going to prove soon. What I do is I go to the notepad. Here I'm going to add style type equal to text or CSS. Then I say here closing style. Within that I'm going to say locate any div in this page. Apply text align to justify semicolon and then I also set the background dash color to cyan semicolon. File save go to browser and refresh. You can see that 
there is a rectangle box we have filled that rectangle box with the background color set to sign now you can clearly see that an html element is a rectangle box meant to hold a content right the div takes the entire width it's a block level element we can set the width and height independently by using the css width property and css height property let me go to the notepad here i am going to say width of the div should be 400 px semicolon file save go to browser when i say refresh the width is going to be reduced to 400 pixel and automatically the content moved to the next line right the height is increased automatically you can see that now the width is 400 pixels height is automatically set based on the content we can set the height also independently i can say here height 400 px semicolon i am setting the height of the content file save go to browser and refresh you can see it is actually increase the height of the content even though we have the less content to display still we have set the content height should be 400 pixels if you if you have more height there will be no problem right if i say here 200 pixels file save go to browser and refresh there is a content height reduced to 200 pixels no problem what if i set 50 pixels now i am setting the content height to 50 pixels file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the height is only 50 pixels when the height of the content area is lesser than the content the content gets overflow it goes out of the box we can perform various uh, styling and all i discuss about it later about what happen what we have to do when the content overflows okay at present i am not interested to discuss about uh, overflow and all we are talking about only css box model i am telling you when you set the width and height of a content area what happens i hope you guys are clearly understanding let me remove the width and height let the browser calculate the width and height file save go to browser and refresh now we have the 100% width and height is automatically set based on the content next we have padding i told you that we can use the padding css property padding and i say here 10 pixel semicolon this is going to add or clear the 10 pixel area around the content file save go to browser and refresh you can see that there is a small space around the content so the distance between the border of the html element and the content is increased right that is actually known as padding now the paragraph looks much more good right it is more appealing now okay the next thing is border we can apply the border which is outside the padding by using the border property border of 5px solid red border semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that the border is added outside the padding right outside the padding we have the border we can independently set the borders we can independently set the padding also i talk about that later okay at present you should understand what is the content area what is the padding area and what is the border area and where they are present in the css html box okay and here you see some space right this is actually the margin friends this is the margin of the body element not the div element okay let me go here what i do here is i say locate the body element in this page okay and apply the margin to 0 pixels semicolon file save go to browser and refresh you can see that margin is removed okay now i am going to add the margin around the div to add margin around the div we use the css margin property margin of 10 pixel semicolon when i say margin 10 pixel file save browser clears a space around the border if i say refresh you can see that the margin is added around the div element that is the margin print i hope you guys have clearly understood the css box model that is every html element is a rectangle box meant to hold a content the amount of space required to display the content is the content area the space 
around the content is known as the padding the area meant to display the border is known as the border area and the space around the border is known as the margin area we can control the width and height of the content by using the css width css height property we can control the padding area by using the css padding property we can set the border by using the css border property and we can set the margin around the html element by using the css margin property step by step you guys understand everything clearly so for this tutorial this much is enough friends in the next tutorial we get something more about css box model for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial